A warm namaste and a big hello to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this particular Q&A session. Here I was asked a question. Ma'am, please make a video on Catalyst Twin Flame that isn't karmic slash toxic but soulmates who mimic twin flames. Uh, then I asked this person, is there a question? And they said, yes ma'am, what is the purpose of such catalyst and thank you so much for helping a lot of people like us there isn't one video of yours that hasn't resonated with me each and every video is spot on well all the credit for all the resonance and anything positive goes to masters and source as i'm simply a medium about this question it's an interesting question but this is uh, a question which already comes with a lot of preconceived notions just the way a lot of people already have notions and understanding about the word twin flame so what is a catalyst twin flame as the word says catalyst this person is obviously doing something which is helping in the movement the further movement okay but i see in the question there is also a kind of direct um uh, a bit of demand you can say that a catalyst twin flame that is not karmic or toxic but a soulmate who mimics twin flames so you have already in this question mentioned or explained what a twin flame what a catalyst twin flame is like so catalyst twin flame is not karmic is not toxic but it's a soulmate who is mimicking the twin flame you have already given the definition but is this the correct definition or not and why do we need to know about all this and what exactly is all of this and why are people actually experiencing these type of dynamics or they even in a place or position to ask these questions so i want to first make it a bit simple to understand okay so what is the purpose of such catalyst catalyst are simply people who are pushing you towards something like whenever you ask a question like this i suggest to all of the people who are asking these questions to google the meanings like if we do it together right now let's say catalyst meaning dictional meaning a person or a thing that causes change a substance that makes a chemical reaction happen faster so two main things that i can see is that it is a person or a thing that is leading to change which is what i already spoke about that they are pushing you towards your ascension maybe when the twin flame is not present and second thing is it is giving speed to your situation so there is an element of acceleration also catalyst in simple words is a substance that causes or accelerates a chemical reaction without itself being affected can a person be a catalyst for a team to reach its potential they always need a catalyst someone who will not only motivate and inspire the team but someone who will help the team move in the right direction someone who believes in the team someone who believes in the mission another word for catalyst there are so many synonyms here but the one that come on top is impetus incentive motivation stimulant adjuvant and agitator looking at all of these wonderful things that the catalyst is doing one must wonder if the catalyst is so much better in their humanitarian values and they are so supportive why aren't people choosing the catalyst and why are people still going after an absent twin flame or a missing twin flame or a twin flame that's in separation with you so we all also need to understand the word twin flame first of all twin flame is an energy it comes from the word ardhanareshwar which is an ancient indian word which means half masculine half feminine half women half man form of shiva and shakti which also talks about a certain path of ascension where two people come together they trigger each other they push each other away they come close to each other and after all of this they eventually come into an understanding now back in those days when we talk about shiva shakti ram sita radha krishna who are the cardinal twin flames and who basically help in every different yuga so shiva and shakti are basically denoting satyug the golden age ram and sita are denoting or they are symbolic for the treta yug 
or the silver age and radha and krishna are symbolic of the dwapar yuga but all of these yugas are basically descending in order which means that certain amount of energy is lost for both because masculine and feminine are actually together they are interdependent if masculine gets distorted feminine is also going to be distorted if feminine is distorted masculine is also going to be distorted but then we are luckily we are literally born in the beginning of the age of ascension we are right now at the ascending dwapar so every time there is ascension the yugas they move into a higher energy and eventually they merge into the golden age so the twin flame basically twin flame two flames two identical flames but they are not the same flames they are twins okay so two identical energies going up towards ascension and that's why i always say that this journey is about duality to singularity so when a person actually gets activated they start differentiating between the dualistic nature of this world or they start discriminating or a more positive word would be looking at the world with discernment they start looking at this world and they can clearly see that they want to be somewhere which is not exactly sansaric or 3d whereas they are struggling to be where they want to be which could be a spiritual reality or a 5d reality or a much healed reality and there is somehow they need to find balance between the worldly world and the esoteric world or the higher world the higher realm so first of all we need to understand the purpose of twin flame then we will understand the purpose of catalyst or false twin or karmic or toxic person or soul mates we have to understand the main point first okay twin flame is not exactly a specific person but then why do we all use this word why do we say your twin flame or this twin flame or that person's twin flame that's because there has to be an ease of communication you cannot say that energy would try to simulate you 5 years back and when it triggered you then that energy shifted into we cannot speak like that so there is one specific person who probably comes into your life and everything changes after that like you start doing your inner work you start uh, becoming more serious about your life or you get extremely like troubled by this person but still you feel a connection or this person runs away from you and that baffles you you are very shocked but you have spent a lot of time loving that person and you have spent a lot of time imagining a possible future with that person that even if the person is gone you cannot give up on that idea so when i ask people this question when they tell me that so and so is my twin flame i always ask them this question how do you know for sure this person is your twin flame did you get into a reading did you talk to someone did you go to an astrologer or what was the reason did you see it as per some kind of dream intervention was there a mystical intervention that led you to believe this and most people just simply say that it's my feeling it's my gut feeling my gut feeling tells me that this person is my twin flame i mean there is something about this person there is a connection i feel for this person even though this person has left me or treated me badly because most people who are doing this inner work are those people who were left behind and surprisingly or shockingly for a lot of people this person keeps coming back to them or they keep going back to this person like if they go back to that person even that person is accepting them back if they don't like that other person does not want to accept them back or the person himself or herself does not want to accept that person because they have certain conditions they have certain you know desires or they have certain expectations and this person is simply not fulfilling has not been fulfilling those expectations and finally there comes a point where they go like if you want to be with me then you have to do all these a b c d e f g h these things the other person says i cannot do it it's not me or i have my problems or i have the situation or whatever they say there is basically a stop you know in that relationship there's a point where it kind of breaks so from this perspective first and foremost we need to understand that you are in a twin flame ascension journey it is a journey and the name of this journey is twin flame ascension journey 
but this name has not been given to you because of an outside interference but because there is something happening inside of you so this twin flame energy actually is within you in the form of ida and pingala nadi in the form of anima and animus in the form of sacred masculine and sacred feminine both these energies are inside of you like two different flames which are different and same at the same time and that's why this journey is so fascinating to me also as a person as an individual so these two people they look same i mean i'm not talking about the appearance i'm talking about it on the energy level energetically they look like the same flames they probably have the same color the same size or everything but yet they are very unique and different and individualistic this is exactly how god creates people on this planet god creates everybody almost we are all same there is not much difference but yet we are so different so by twin flame union it actually means that these two flames have come together they have come together and they have become a single flame one singular flame which means there is no difference no polarity no disparity no anger no questions nothing it's like everything is accepted because everything is the same there is no difference now that is twin flame union so that union has to happen within you but obviously to trigger this process you meet a lot of people in the outside reality now some of them are always on your mind like you never forget them even after 3 years 4 years 5 years 6 years no matter what type of relationship you had with them even if for some people there was some kind of violence also involved in that relationship but they are still not able to forget that person and with time things change like first they are very angry with this person they hate this person as time passes by they kind of mellow down a bit towards this person then they finally start saying that okay i'm grateful to this person had this person not come in my life i won't be doing in our work i won't be doing all of this amazing stuff then there comes a point where you know either it is triggered by a contact from that person or something happens you know in the in the physical world also where they feel bad for this person maybe they feel pity towards this person and then comes a phase when they start forgiving that person and once they have forgiven that person it's like it's like nice uh, harmonious energy you feel you know like you don't have any anger you don't have any frustration but then while you're doing this journey there are other people also who have come in your life there are other people also who are coming back in your life and this only happens when you have spent a certain amount of time doing your inner work because when you spend time doing your inner work you change exponentially you change incredibly you change in multiple ways okay and when you change your dynamics or your interactions or your experiences even your memories with other people change they shift so those people who may have been a part of your life they kind of they are drawn towards you so they come back to you maybe they are still the same you have changed so you kind of trigger them in a way in a healthy way in a more harmonious way but you make them feel like whatever they're doing or saying or whatever offers they are making for you in exchange or in lieu of seeking forgiveness or forgiving you maybe you don't want them anymore because you've changed so much usually you change a lot in this journey so when you change so much you actually start inspiring other people via your changed personality or your changed behavior or your changed perceptions okay change is very very important in this journey growth is very very important so it could be possible that you also meet karmics on the way you also meet toxic other toxic people are there in your path and you could also be meeting soulmates who are as per this question they say soulmates who mimic twin flames soulmates don't mimic twin flames nobody is mimicking anyone okay first of all let's just understand this nobody is mimicking anyone nobody is taking anyone's place and the reason why i am giving you this definition of twin flame is so you understand and before you ask this question anyone who asks this question you got to understand that twin flame is a divine intervention it is an energy format 
it is a type of energy that was given to you at the time of birth okay and those who connect more or resonate more with the star seed word or star seed label you have felt kind of like an alien on this planet you have not been able to identify with a lot of things people do you have very different ideas about the world about the way you want to live and there could be pros and cons to everything that you're going through as well but you also experience the same things but when you listen to the twin flame people or twin flame world or twin flame communities you feel that they have sort of forgotten the star seeds because the star seeds are playing such an important role but now when i'm saying all this i don't want anyone to identify with this word fully like this is just for communication sake this is just for you to understand that you are doing a certain type of inner work which is called twin flames twin flame ascension and it actually starts from romantic problems it starts from romantic relationships toxic relationships narcissistic relationships it starts from something good then it moves to something bad then it moves to something good then it moves to something bad it's like a wave you know it's like a wave like this the purpose is simply growth whether it's a twin flame whether it's a soulmate whether it's a karmic whether it's anyone purpose of all these people in your life is growth your growth the growth of the soul the ascension of the soul and the advancement of the soul the movement of planet earth into a higher dimension a higher frequency because more and more people are going to vibrate in this energy it would be like normal for earth to move into like a smooth transition into the higher frequencies you know i mean nothing is smooth when a airplane starts you know how it starts when a rocket launcher is sends a rocket in the space you know how it goes you know so initially there is always a lot of fire and combustion and there is a lot of speed and then finally things mellow down so that is how this whole journey uh happens this journey is also trying to teach you detachment so by the time you start understanding everything you will also use these words for communication purpose only because you understand the energetic meaning of these words you understand that all these words have their own signature frequency and there are different stages of twin flame ascension like there is a dark night of the soul but there is also illumination which is a very happy process there is a crisis situation and there is also harmonization there is runner and chaser dynamic but there is also surrender there is this beautiful phase of recognition but there is also separation there is union and there is also runner and chaser dynamic in a very intense form where two people are mentally running and chasing from each other then we have the best the most amazing most awaited final stage singularity i mean singularity also is not going to complete in a day or two and all of this is happening in one life that's the most interesting part for a lot of people this is meant to complete all of the stages are meant to complete in this life in this one life only i hope this is simple enough for you to understand if you have more questions that branch out from this explanation which is like sensible and logical and it is also like in the same direction in the same sphere then do write it in the comment section and i would love to answer the question and uh, let's understand the power of twin flame let's understand the power of shakti let's understand that this is a feminine planet and so many masculine planets and so many masculine gods and goddesses so many people so many couples are looking after this planet and if everybody is literally there i mean they came later on then who was the first one to witnessed everything obviously this cosmic reality this cosmic reality was always present so when vishnu also appeared as swayambhu then where did vishnu appear in the cosmic reality only so the cosmic reality is probably the divine mother the shakti is 
probably i'm saying the word probably because most probably it feels like that however different puranas start differently and different puranas emphasize on different things but it is the mother the creator who came first and then comes the child now who created the mother how was the mother created was it a natural process an organic process was it scientific was it some kind of intervention that is for later on some other day we'll do it because it's not easy to understand earth astrologically also people have not been able to understand and otherwise also but everything is happening for earth and we are also here to volunteer for the same earth there is a reason why we are here so when you read this definition one of the definitions i really liked is the catalyst is someone who believes in the mission so if the catalyst is being sent to you maybe that catalyst is not going to go away that easily because they have the same common mission as you so it is you who needs to understand you can probably get into a one on one personal session with me please do not share anything in advance we will talk about it during the session you can bring in your birth details and that person's birth details also and you can ask questions about this dynamic you can do an intuitive session with me an intuitive reading and tarot or you can do the astrology session it's completely up to you this is not a typical astrology session this is also an energetic session but then we use date of births in this that's the one difference anybody who is in contact with their mission of doing inner work ascending and contributing to mother earth or contributing to this cosmic reality in some way shape or form that's when your inner work actually propels like your ascension process becomes even faster because you are now connected to the mission you have become a selfless person you have started experiencing unconditional love earlier maybe the love was conditional earlier the love was looks oriented or appearance oriented or there was a desire maybe you wanted to build a family with someone so you were obviously not giving any attention on the mission but when people are in separation or when people start to surrender once they start tasting the sweet nectar of true love that's when they start thinking like i want to do something different you know and that also has a big 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 impact on everybody who experience this phenomenon of doing something you know like for the world not for themselves so that's why it's a mission so the catalyst and the soulmates are going to help you they are going to support you if if everything goes okay twin flame maybe whosoever has put you on this path or whosoever just pushed you into inner work maybe you are thinking that person is your twin flame but if twin flame is the energy inside of you if it is not healed you are going to see unhealed versions of you only in different faces and if it gets healed if the twin flame energy within gets healed ascended and it transcends then automatically you will see the physical manifestation of it that is definitely going to happen it's a by product okay now what is it that you want also makes a lot of difference some people are not looking for romantic stuff some people are only looking to create resources some people are focused on their mission work some people have started enjoying inner work so much that they don't want to be anywhere else like so there are big changes so what is it that you are looking for that will create the physical manifestation in your reality okay so i will see you soon in another one and keep asking these lovely questions this is a great question it's coming from a person who has been thinking but at the same time i am trying to clarify these points because sometimes we ask the questions also based on what we know what we have heard and uh, we have still not touched our intuition very deeply but nevertheless it's a great question thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you everyone for being here and thank you to all of those people who are actually so focused on the twin flame ascension journey one love peace out and jai shri ram